In this video training session, our learning objectives are with the editing and reordering and boss pocket pad and draft features. How to edit holes, positioning the group, slots and its parameters that we will look into. So editing a feature you can do only when you apply the features first then if you want to reattach or you need to change any parameters then you can do it. For example if you want to reattach it also you have the reattach options as well as the parameters basic which you use that also you can do it. That means positioning you can change you can delete the positioning dimensions and you can add new dimensions as well. These are the things listed. So you can delete positioning dimension, you can add positioning dimension, you can edit positioning dimension. So this both things are applicable for the group, slot and other features. Because if you have a sketch based feature, you can directly edit the sketch and the features will be updated. But here this is not sketch based. You are depending on direct features parameters and you can reorder the features as well. All this concept will look in our session. So first of all, we'll see in this advanced modeling session, the boss features and pocket features, pad features and dart features. If you see the boss feature directly, you can create the boss with the specification like the diameter, height and taper angle. Let us look that in our session. If you see the boss, go to the command finder and type here boss, then you will get the boss toolbar. Here you have the diameter, let us say diameter is 30 and height is 50 and taper angle is 5 let us say. I am selecting this face and here it is placed. But what about the position with respect to the boundaries? That is what we need in the second step. Here you can see the perpendicular point, parallel points, vertical points or horizontal point. Let us say I am locking the horizontal point. This is one reference and this is another reference. Here you can see the dimensions which you can directly edit also. I need to have 50 and again I need to have the vertical dimension from this particular face that may be 25 and go for OK and you can see this placed at the correct orientation. So after creating this boss feature, you need to add the editing dimension parameter and in future you need to change this, you just double click it, here you can see the reattach and feature dialog box you have that parameters and you have reattach also and here you can see the redefine positioning dimension. This dimension I would like to change with respect to this feature and with respect to this particular edge, I can go for the filter edge and I can pick the edge, identify solid face, select the tool edge the horizontal is this one and vertical is this one and horizontal if you reorder to this particular point, let us say this is the reference direction and this is the placement face. This is the placement face. The reference direction I am defining as this. And for the vertical, I am defining maybe this. Go for OK. OK. So, you have two different parameters. One is the features parameter, another is the placement edge or the face with respect to which you can reattach this basically the positioning dimensions and you can see the direction is horizontal and you can put your horizontal reference and when you switch to vertical and this vertical you can put this direct references and you can do the end point arc point tangent point redefine this this end point I am taking
and you can do the changes and typically this particular option you can do through very simple operation like revolve and you can place the sketch as well so these are some quick option which sometime you may use and require just like that you can create the pockets and these pockets can be done by using certain parameters like pocket diameter depth floor radius and taper angle like the one is shown here rectangular pockets you can see here you have the length width depth corner radius floor radius and taper angle these are the parameters which are highlighted and you can independently see in your exercise dialog box so that you can place it so these are very quick options where you can create the standard shapes and if you want to create this by conventional way you have plenty of commands which you can use also and these are the pockets and different parameters you can see target body is which floor face is which floor outline is which placement outline is which placement face is which all this you can directly read from this particular diagram next we'll see the pad features which is the very simple concept to create the cutout in a rectangular format and when you have only the corner radius and taper angle like this the corner radius and taper angle you have that you can place over the bias and in case of the general pad pad is of different class which i will show you once you go to pad you type the command as pad once you go to this pad you have general pad and rectangular pad in case of general pad you have this dialog box where you have the placement face you have the placement outline you have the top face you have the top outline for explaining this i will show you a good example this one the top outline placement outline placement face and top face and you can create this type of critical object when you have two only cross section which is following between two different face is the case and if you see this here you have the placement face you have the placement outline the small one you have the top face this side and you have the top outline this one and then if you press okay this type of feature will be instantly created by joining this two tie to different face and if you go for control h you can see the cross section how it follows it directly follows from this face towards this face and you can see from the sides as well exactly it is joining over the face these are couple of examples which you can take to understand this particular feature in our coming session we will be discussing about how to create draft